What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Jeremy. Welcome to Jeremy's Wild World. Now you saw from today's title guys, today's video is going to be me showing off a brand new species here in my collection, the Teflus beetles, also known as the giant African tiger beetles, a species I've been having my eyes out for for a very, very long time. I love my predatory beetles. I did have Anthea sex maculata, but unfortunately my colony did pass away. So I had an enclosure free and when Tony from Venom's Visions had these on his site, had to snatch them up straight away. And currently have a group of them and basically today's video is going to be that no unboxing today guys uh, i'll explain later in the next clip uh why there's no unboxing today but yeah so i'm just gonna be showing you the beetles as well as rehousing them in today's video and yeah so before i get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado let's show you what these teflis beetles look like all right guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys the uh, Teflus beetles. These are specifically Teflus megalae. This one is a giant African tiger beetle. You can kind of see one just moving around at the top. And as you see, I did get three. Now you're probably wondering, Jeremy, you did do an unboxing this time around. Now the reason for it is because this post, um, the post was delayed a day later than expected. So um, I messaged Tony and just said, uh, they didn't arrive. I'll let you know as soon as they come in. So as soon as they came in, I was at work, so my dad uh, opened the box and as you can see they are doing absolutely fine really really hardy species and yes yeah, so i'm really excited i have a group of three and yeah so let's just crack this open one-handed just give you guys a little show before i rehouse them in today's video and yeah so here it is right here a really really stunning species now i really am into my predatory beetles i used to have uh, anthea sex maculata but unfortunately all the individuals i had did pass away but now we're working with these ones, They're really, really nice. To me, they are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They look like the carapus species we have here in the UK. Um, they're, uh, I can't remember the common name for them, but they are a type of beetle that we have here, but these guys are just like super sized. Now these are an omnivorous species and I am gonna be keeping these communally, as you'll see in today's video, but if worse comes to worse, I will be um, housing them separately. I do have tubs to house each one individually so yeah absolutely stunning and if you're wondering where the other three are uh sorry other two are they're just down here all doing absolutely fine despite being delayed in the post of course due to tony's absolutely fantastic postage and yeah so before this one starts nibbling my hand let's get these ones rehoused shall we all right guys so here is the tub that i'm going to be housing the teflos beetles in now as you can see uh, got a, quite a fair bit of substrate in here it's currently a mix of topsoil and uh, play sand but if i find that the beetles are fighting each other of course i will be separating them but the idea is that this is um has a space underneath they, they can have a territory here territory here and here but if i do see that there is a lot of fighting um i will be housing them separately in smaller tubs but yeah so Here's a tub and uh, guys, I, this is my first time keeping Teflus beetles. So if this substrate isn't um, like ideal, do let me know if you need, if I need to add more topsoil or add more sand. I believe these guys like it a little bit more humid from the, the research I've done. So that's why I went with more topsoil. That's why it seems a little bit more darker. But yeah, enough about the chit chat. Let's get these beautiful tiger beetles rehoused. So I'm gonna do it right here. Yeah, so here's the one that I showed in the beginning so I'm just gonna pop it onto a piece of wood now as you can see guys they are huge huge beetles I was really surprised when Tony had these uh, put on his website because he did let me know about some uh, flower beetles that he did get in but when I saw these guys I was like I had to pick some up again here is one with more intact antennae here we go, absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful beetle. But yeah, so a little facts about these guys. They are, of course, an African tiger beetle species. Um, they are omnivorous, but they do prefer eating uh, uh, things like slugs, snails, worms, etc. But they will eat like soft fruits, etc. But yeah, their preference is protein, but they will feed on uh, fruits if provided. But yeah, as you can see guys, I usually do say, um, do handle at your own risk, but with these guys, they're fairly docile, they don't seem to want to bite you, uh, they seem more like stiff because they're scared and stuff. But yeah, so here's the third one, really, really stunning, I'll just zoom out again guys, just 
pop them down here. I won't put them next to each other just in case. And there we go, see, one's already made its way in. Probably will start digging, as you can see. Start to make itself a tunnel so it can get away. Here is one of them here. And the other one is just here. So yeah, that is the rehousing for these Teflus African Tiger Beetles. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get right into the outro. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Teflus or the giant African tiger beetles today. I'm really, really happy with how they look. They're absolutely massive and I hope to show them off more in the future. And of course, I'll be updating you guys on how they do. Um, really, really excited to have these in my collection. And as you saw, they're already eating on some jelly pots as well as some mealworms and stuff. But of course, I will be getting some snails and stuff, uh, feeder snails in the future to feed them. That's, that's a natural diet for them. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button, press the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really, really appreciate it if you would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore, as well as Jeremy's Wild World dot sales. I'm really, really active on Instagram, posting pictures, videos, and animals and events I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>